there, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm putting together the Project Life Spread for the week of May 29th through June 4th, 2023. And for this week, I am playing with the June kit from Freckled Fawn. This kit was super fun with lots of colorful images and icons and just fun summer colors. There's a lot of summer icons in this kit. I do end up using some of them on this spread and I do end up saving some of them for some other projects and I did already create a couple of other projects with this kit. If you're interested in seeing those, those are on my Instagram and that is linked in the description below. I also am sharing with you my process for pulling my stories out of my Hobonichi cousin and putting them on the sticky note here and I just kind of make notes on that so that when I'm putting the spread together, I kind of have a checklist of the stories I want to include and it helps me make sure that I am getting all of my stories told before I run out of pocket cards um, or that I'm not putting too many journaling cards without stories to tell on them. So without anything else to say, let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay guys, so for this week, I have all three by four photos. I didn't print any four by six photos because I just didn't really have any that I felt worked really well for this week. Um, this week, my daughter went to prom, which ended up being kind of the primary story I think I have here in terms of photos. I've got four photos for it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make it maybe take up like that whole section. And then I have a few other photos this week. I did a lot of chores this week. I got a lot done around the house. Um, I got a lot of crafting done. I spent a lot of time out by the pool. There was really good weather. Hmm, I'm just trying to decide kind of where I want everything situated. I have a lot of photos this week. So I might actually treat this like three by fours. I think I'm gonna do that because, and then just have the one four by six because I am working with the June kit from Freckled Fawn, which is super cute, super summery, which is perfect for this week, but they don't use four by six cards. They just do three by four cards, which is great for me because I primarily do four by, or three by four, but I do need a four by six title card here. But that means that I can treat this as two three by fours in that pocket. So I'm just trying to figure out what paper I want for my title card here. I would choose this one, but I have my pool right there, but I'm just gonna put it to the side. And I've already worked with this kit a bit. I did two traditional layouts from this kit so far, two six by eight layouts for my mini me album. So I have used quite a few of the supplies. Ooh, I do love this pattern. That's super cute, but I'm just gonna look and see what else there is. You do get two of each. I like this one a lot too. You get two of each paper in the kit of the 12 by 12 papers and they're double sided. So like if you really love one, you could use both of them or you can use each side only once. So I'm not gonna use that, but I might use this. This is the same as that one, which I've already cropped down. And then there's this and the floral. So I'm just gonna put those over to the side and keep these two in mind for my title card there. And look about look through the cards for the rest of what I wanna do. So life is better with friends, it's super cute. Again, these are double-sided and you get two of them. Um, Hello Summer, I think is great. My daughter's name is Summer, so I always like to use those like punny things like that. I always wanna use the cards like this in my project life. This time it has this side that's got five small ones and this side that has three large ones. I think I like the large ones big, better. I don't have a, I guess I could do this and do more of like a list of some things, but hmm, I'm gonna think about it, but I don't think that I wanna do that. I think instead I wanna do one of these like filler cards here, either the flip flops or this. Although, you know what, I also have this spot. Kinda like that one, I know, I love the flip flops. And then let's see what else do we have here. So I think I'm gonna do this life is better with friends for like the prom stuff. 
and then here to journal about prom. And then, see, there's also all these really cute die cuts, which if you wanted to create a filler card, you could create with one of the filler, one of these on top of a pattern paper, which I think that's what I'm going to do for my final one here, just because these are so cute. Um, there's all these ice cream ones and I always eat ice cream and I just didn't take a picture of any ice cream this week. I didn't actually go out for ice cream this week, but I usually do have ice cream. I know I had some ice cream bars just because I always have ice cream bars. So I think we're going to do that. And then I might do this one here. Try to think what would I put in here? So I have, um, so in the beginning of this video, I showed you kind of my process for pulling my stories off of my weekly spread in my Hobonichi cousin. So let's see, I have Memorial Day and I could write about how I went to the pool quite a few times this week. That's one story. I have a second story, it was my past day. And then I think my third story would be um, all the chores. I got so many chores done this week and including getting my car detail or detailing my car myself. Um, I used to get it detailed and then I did it myself and realized it's so much cheaper. <laughs> it's not that much work. Um, it's just doing the, putting the time towards it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and crop these things down. I think I'm going to use this one as a three by four card. So actually I don't love that edge. So I'm going to use this edge. And you know what? I don't love this one either. So the pattern isn't perfectly to the edge, which is fine. I'm just going to trim this little piece off so that I can get a good three by four out of here like this. See, I like that pattern better. And when you're trimming down paper, it's always good to kind of look at how it will look on your page or on your card and kind of shift it around to where you want it. So here is this. And then I'm thinking, I'm just going to put this on here. And that doesn't really have any significance. It's just cute. Um, I'm trying to decide, though, if I want to use this one or if I want to do, like, a title card that says prom. Hmm. While I'm thinking about that, I'm going to go ahead and trim down my, my title card, which one's going to go up there. It's going to be four inches across. I'm going to make this four by six. And I've been using all year these every month that comes with that for my title. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. And then there's these nice labels. There's usually a label sheet in the kit. And so that's perfect for my title. So I'm going to start with this. And when I'm working on Project Life like this, I tend to kind of jump around based on what I'm what I already know I want to do. And if I'm thinking something, but I don't know yet, like, like this part, I'm not sure about yet. I'll just move on and work on something else. And usually it will come together when I get there. So I'm going to do my rolling date stamp here. May 29th. Okay, so let's see, here's my title card. I have a lot of photos here. I'm just gonna kind of look through what other embellishments this kit comes with. So there's these cute puffy stickers. There's these puffy stickers. So these might be fun to do for some of the, on the photos. I think I'm gonna put one of them on there. So the question is, do I wanna do happy, play, here? Um, hmm. And then let's see what else do we have. I've got the chipboard. There's always chipboard in the kit. So I definitely want to use some of these. And I have the label stickers. There's some washi tape and the die cuts. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one on here. But before I do that, I think I have kind of have a plan. I'm not entirely sure yet if I'm going to stick with this or I might make like a title that says prom. Or I might do that anyways, like on one of the photos. I could see putting like one of the labels with it. I think I'm gonna use these stamps 
to stamp out some of the things like on here and on some of the labels and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and get this spread put together. Okay, you guys, I want to say this spread came together very easily, but I feel like I say that every time. And I think it's just because I've been doing this project for so long now, I have a very standard process that I follow that is just fun. And I don't really have to think that much about it, but it really, really helps to work from a kit. So if you are someone who is struggling to keep up with your Project Life album because it is taking too long, I really, really suggest playing with a kit or using a kit. It doesn't have to be one of the kits that I use, but I strongly suggest using a kit because then you have just those supplies in front of you to pull from. And if you're on a budget and you don't have any kits, I would suggest making a kit from your stash and then using that to create your spread. So I'm working on my journaling here and you saw I used my alpha stamps and I have those stamps um, linked down below to number these three boxes, one, two, and three. I liked that the card came with those little like dots for each box. You can number them or you could leave them blank or add like little stars from the puffy stickers in them. I think that would be super cute also. And I'm just journaling three different stories from the week. And this is where I'm pulling those things from my sticky note there. And I did keep in mind how many stories I have when kind of figuring out which ones I want to put on this card that has these three spots for larger stories. And then you see to the left of my hand there, I have that pink and yellow card that has five spots for shorter stories. And I'm going to end up just stamping on there, which takes much longer. So I sped that up really fast when I do the stamping, but I really enjoy it. First, I'm going to fill out this card that says, Hello Summer, and I am journaling about my daughter's prom, or what they call it here is Senior Ball. And so I have a lot of photos from prom or from before prom, because I obviously did not go to prom, and my daughter only sometimes sends me photos. So these are photos that were taken before prom, um, one with me, one with uh, a couple with her date, and some with one with her friends. There were quite a few other ones that I didn't include in the spread because I didn't really want the entire spread to be taken over by her prom because other things happened this week and things that I did since this is primarily my project life, but I will probably, I will definitely create a spread in her personal album about senior prom and include a lot of the photos that didn't make it into this spread. So now I'm doing my stamped journaling on this card and I'm just stamping out five things from this week that were just, you know, general things that happened, things I did, and just to kind of give like an overview feel for the week. Sometimes there's some stories from the week of just like things I wrote down and then I'm like, oh, this is what I did. I went to the pool or whatever it is. And I don't necessarily need to write a long story about it, but I do want to make a note of it because that's kind of the overall feel of this point in time. And when I look back, I want to be able to think, oh yeah, I went to the pool a lot. And that, so I have that stamped on here. I did pool day, campus walk, estate law stuff because I was doing some research and detailed my car and the Excelsior application, which didn't quite fit. So I stamped just Excelsior app, which is a application that we did this week for my daughter's college. Moving on to the prom photos here, I did stamp out prom, even though I know it's senior ball, but in my head it's prom. And I feel like when I look back on these, I'm going to be like, what is ball? But I didn't actually realize until later that I had stamped prom because in my head, that's what it is. I probably should have stamped ball, but that's okay. To me, it's prom. And then I'm adding a few little embellishments here. I added some of the washi tape from the kit and one of the puffy stars. And then I repeated that treatment on another one of the photos. I ended up doing it actually in three photos, two from the prom or the ball, and one of my new mug organizer, which I have recently shared on Instagram. So there's more details about that if you're interested on my Instagram. I like to repeat the same kind of embellishment cluster three times. So that's why I did it on three different photos. I feel like that makes it more cohesive across the spread. And then I pulled some word phrase strips from my stash that were white and added those into those little embellishment clusters. I like having the mix of these repeated embellishment clusters 
with some embellishments that are not repeated, like on the photo of the pool where I just put the word happy and a heart. I like that that is embellished, but it's not repeated. And I like having that mix of the two different styles across the spread, if that makes sense. I'm going ahead and sliding everything into the pockets and just kind of trimming things down when they don't fit. I love that I was had the opportunity to include some filler cards this week and just kind of make it a little bit more of a laid back spread. There is still some journaling, of course, but there's less that I do in some of my other spreads, which is two real cards that have journaling on them. And instead, I had space to include that flip-flop filler card, and then I created that filler card myself using the die cut from the kit. Here's a look at the completed spread. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.